What's happening, people? Today we uh, are here at the Ricola League. We are going to be continuing our adventure to see what's going on over here. So I did a little sneak peeking on what we can do here. Um, okay, I didn't, but in the last episode we kind of did. So I'm going to figure out if there's any cool things we could do here. What do you like? What do you like more, physical or special? I like physical. How dare you? Special moves are much better than physical moves. <sighs> Fine, special. Hyper beam. Trash. <laughs> How dare I? <laughs> Good impact and hyper voice. These, these people don't even know me. I, I, I'm entering, invading your house. But somehow you guys give me a TM, that's awesome. Some of the houses here in this village are for people like us that have to travel. Oh, we'll have to travel quite far to get here. Quite convenient, don't you think? How do people even live in this Pokemon League? No diddle dabbling for me. I got to pack lunch for everyone before the matches start. Okay, that sounds cool. Ah, I can't wait to see who's going to win it all. I think I'll root for whoever has the coolest style. Uh, come on. It's so sweet seeing my beloved husband. He gets so excited. Reliving his moments and dreams every time we come here to watch battles. That's how I first fell in love with him. Such dear memories they are. Amazing. Seeing the lights, the sounds, the spectacular battles that rage on the stage. It gives this old man youth again just watching the best of the, the best compete. <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys, but I'm going to show you now. So I did give me a new Pokemon. I actually had it inside my PC, and that's Rashiro. This is probably the best option I could possibly put on my team. Because I have weakness to rock. He resists that. I have weakness to electric because my Rashad doesn't have lightning rod. So my Rasho covers that weakness. I, um... Uh, what else? So I'm weak to rock, that's covered. I'm weak to ground, that's also covered. I'm weak to electric, this is also covered. And Brasho's weaknesses are also covered by my team. Ice, Blaze, Flying, Rashad. Um, Fire, I'm guessing Poison? If we're up against a Poison type, we have Spirix who, and Salad Slime who resist it and can take on just about almost any Poison type I engage. Except Salad Slam himself. Um, if I'm in that type of engagement, um, I can most likely, I can probably think of something. I'd probably switch into my Spirex and just burn it, if it goes for a poison type move or ice type attack. Also, I believe, um, outside of that, yeah, my weaknesses are almost covered completely to Brasheria. This one covers everything. So now all I need to do is level you up, um, boy. It took me several years to earn my E badges. Wow. And I must admit, I wasn't the smartest guy in Pokemon Battles, but I never gave up, up nor lost faith. Now I realize my childhood dream. Defeat the best trainers of Recuro in the biggest tournament in the region. Good luck with that. It only took me a couple a week to get here. <laughs> Have you seen those special trainers east of here? They help trainers warm up by battling with a variety of teams from all kinds of environments. It took a lot of hard work and dedication to get here. Here, why don't you have this? It helped me a lot. I should know. I don't know how you even got here in the first place. Use it when you've got a really good move you want to keep using over and over. Richard Room is decent in scenarios like that, you're right. But it isn't. Huh? You think you got a chance? Ha! Huh? I'll fly anyone who gets in my way. Just wait, you, just you wait. So he's participating? You certainly become. You're certainly someone who's got a lot of potential. If you want to survive against the Elite Four, let alone the trainers before them, you're going to need every bit of help you can get. Take this. A focus man. It's not going to help me too much, but I go. I mean, it's kind of like a focus dash, though. A psychic move 
which does physical damage. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Wanna try it out? Psy Shock. I don't have a Psy Kick type Pokemon, but let's see who could learn it. The best possible Pokemon that can learn it is you. You have Dazzling Gleam, though. That's better for Dark types. Um. And Fine types. And the base power is almost no different. I do have some a couple TMs I just obtained. Maybe I could teach my Pokemon it. South Slam? Yeah, South Slam, you're fine. Not give. Um, I want to use... Learn Hyper Beam. I could teach you Will-O-Wisp and... Yes, I'll get rid of that. I'll keep Hyper Voice and Flamethrower. Yeah, I could put Sunny Day and Solar Beam on you, actually. Flame Charge? Hmm. Flame Charge. Sunny Day. That will give me some extra power. I'm not sure of that. What moves should I give you now? Maybe I could take out Hyper Voice, but Solar Beam. Run a Sunny Day Solar Beam set. Could work. I won't be able. To, I can't be opposed by water types. Sunny day, solar beam, flamethrower. What else? Um, I just don't like how. I don't like the fact that I would have to be setting up the sun though. So maybe I won't do it. Dig, double team, fire blast, flame charge. I have Willowis and Encore. I guess I could keep those two moves. My bad. All right. Yeah, we can just keep those moves. You are good, Aragon. You're good, Salislam. You're good, Spirix. You're good, Rashad. Um, am I sure though? You can like Solar Beam. Hmm. I like Taunt, but I don't honestly need it. Acrobatics? No, I have Overheat. For flying for grass types. All right, let's see about you. Hmm. Okay. You have leaf darts, but I'm not sure about that move. I'll keep it, I suppose. Alright. Give me a second here. Thing up here, okay. Sorry, I had to send a text. Somebody was calling me. All right, um, I already went inside this house, right? All right, no, you're the hyper beam girl. I mean, get him back, girl, right? Hyper beam, no, hyper beam. Oh, somebody's at the door. Damn it all. Alright, one second. Now, what are you doing here? Hey, what's going on, young gun? <laughs> Have you heard about the hidden abilities? Oh, finally. I can't find any Pokemon in the wild with hidden abilities. But I've learned to change Pokemon abilities with their hidden one. Sure, you can... Sure, you are asking how is this possible? That's my secret. 
I can change the ability of one of your Pokemon to its hidden ability one for just 20. Jesus. Don't. Okay. That's a lot of money. D do I even have that amount? I don't. That much money. I should have been using the amulet coin, I suppose. Fuck me. Hidden ability, though. My husband and I are experts in changing abilities. I've created an item which allows you to change the ability of one of your Pokemon. Oh, yes! Yes! An ability capsule. I will take it. Finally! I was trying to use this for my wrist shots. But let's see who else we can give this to. One second. Alright, so I have an entire list of all the Pokemon that I have with me. Jesus. Shouldn't that only cost 100,000? Why does that cost so much? So I can change the ability of my Pokemon for only 50,000. But for hidden abilities, it costs us almost triple the amount. Okay, so... Let me check the hidden abilities right here. We have one for Salislam. His hidden ability is Poison Touch, so whatever he touches... Or makes physical contact with it. It can get poison. That's extremely good. First up, we have a shot. This is the Pokemon I want to change this ability. Just definitely want to change this ability. So it gets lightning rod. It gets steadfast. Or its other bit. That's garbage. Legenix. I like range it. I like regenerator. There's Ryza did, but I'm not using any of the electric types. I'm fine with Rashad. There's Staggered Steel. I do have him. He's in my daycare center. What's your hidden ability, buddy? Volt Absorb and Technician. No, thank you. I'll keep Volt Absorb. <laughs> no, thank you. Bullets? Nope. Any point I, do, I don't need to worry about the future. I just need to think about the, my team here and now. There's a Pokemon right here, Doslin. Sand Force. Hmm. I don't need that. Hydro gone. I I have the shiny pre-evolution of this Pokemon. The stats are decent. I guess you can run a move with, like, Dragon Dance, make it a mixed attacker. You can get Dragon Dance, Dragon Hide, maybe. And, like, moves like, uh, I'm not even sure what you should teach it. Oh, yeah, Freeze Dry? No, wait, no. It's a Dragon type, you don't need that. Huh, Hydrogon. I actually had this Pokemon. On the previous demo. Mercedes, I don't need you. I have a water and electric type already. Let's put Blaze get. His hidden ability is Blaze, no thank you. That's a good ability in some scenarios, but Flame Body is just better. I'm gonna reset the music. So Aragon probably has the best hidden ability out of my entire party. He gets Aerolate and Guts. So I can switch his ability out for Guts. And I can get, or I can get Aerolate. What moves does he get in the physical spectrum though? Now me personally, I want Aerolate. If I can give him something like Aerolate, I can run something like Facade. I hope he gets burned. And that will do massive, massive damage. I've never seen a facade uh, Aerolate user. Actually, I have seen it. Just not, um, I haven't seen any real action, though. Mega Pinsir, I suppose? That's an exception. Um... So I can run Aerolates with him. He doesn't get Earth. No, he does get Earthquake. Okay. 
So Earthquake. And maybe I don't need Dragon. I can just run a... Uh, I could probably run uh, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Facade, and Roost. I guess so. I could also run Razor Blade or U Turn. Razor Blade, that's a steel type attack. I can use that against fairies. Which is why I'm thinking about it. Um, but Facade is honestly stronger. Or if not, equally strong. So, I don't know. Um, it costs us too much, so we can't even do it, but I'm thinking about it. The one we just added to our party your hand ability is grass pellet? What is this? There's no description of what it does, okay. It's grass pelt or whatever. And besides that, that is all of our Pokemon. So uh, we are going to change the ability of our shots. And we're also going to change the ability of our uh, Aragon. So we spent about 100,000, that's good. And we're gonna use these items to make our team even more powerful than it already is. Wait, where is it? Is it being, okay, whatever. It must have changed the order of where it goes. Now we have to scroll all the way up and go down. I believe capsule should be in the items. I mean, the other thingy. Now we have lightning rod. That's amazing. Spirix doesn't get any other ability than what it has. Aragon's ability to turn to guts, which is even better. It's so perfect. So if we get statused, Aragon is our go-to man. If we, uh, if there's an electric type attack, we can now take it. Beautifully. This is awesome. Okay, perfect. I was so mad that Rashad didn't have, um... Didn't have, um, whatchamacallit... A freaking move to hit... I mean, it wasn't immune to electric. But now we have it. The eject button. I think next up I'll probably do my, um... <clears throat> hey there, I'm Brico League's fa famous move tutor. In exchange of green charts, I'll teach you both on awesome moves. He's probably one of the best. He gets the fog. I like the fog. He gets stealth rocks. Truth is, oh, he actually doesn't. He has gimmicky moves. Magic code, I can see me myself using maybe. Stealth rocks, I can definitely see myself using. Except I don't have any one that can learn it, I think. I think my grass and ground type can. There's a um, icy one I can use that, maybe. Scissors, I can use, maybe. Heal Bell, I want to try and teach that to my Bashan. Maybe. Yeah, ma yeah, I'll teach that to my Bashan. <clears throat> but any status condition, I would probably just switch into my Aragon. The fog is something I definitely want. My Rashad can learn it. Is it the Rash because Rashad could be a fast defogger on this team, or it could be uh Actually it's just him. He's my lead. Defogger. Challenging Elite Four, huh? That's some guts you have, but I know that look in your eyes. You'll need more than bronze to defeat them. Take so take this. <laughs> Rocky helmet. Who do I give this to? Bashiro, I believe. I'm gonna give you a lucky egg, so I'm not gonna give you the I am now. I do need some items. Here, I'm here watching my dad win. When it comes to Pokemon battles, no one can beat him. You're here to watch your dad win, okay? 
But if someone watches Pokemon, every Pokemon battle on TV and knows a lot of things despite his young age, I'm sure he'll become a strong trainer in no time. And I accidentally clicked you on you again, my bad. I want to be the very best. Amazing. In Recoil League, you can bet change to blah blah. Okay, we four matches. You can't use all six Pokemon. I lost in the previous leagues because. Okay, yeah. The Frostbolt. <laughs> Frost Breath God. You're a moron. Frostbolt is supposed to crit. I don't even know how you get to the Pokemon League in general if you can't know moves that you're up against. Okay, I shouldn't be saying that because there's some moves in this game that I don't know about. Oh, I didn't know this was the house. It's locked. Oh, that's close. I went inside every building, I believe. Yeah, that's every building. I went inside these, and I went inside the ones in the middle. Protein is a powerful ability that lets you change type. It definitely is. Protein is one of the top abilities. In my opinion, as well. It literally gives you stab everything. That's the little girl on the hyper beam, right? No, this is different. Oh, oh no, it's the same thing. My bad. I completely forgot. <laughs> Let's stop stalling. So, I want to level up my Brashiro. So, I guess I'm going to have to go up against rock types, but I'm going to level up you real quick. Do you remember Folly Rock Valley? Should I remind you? Yes, because I don't know you at all. <laughs> Three electric water types, okay. Ooh, 62. I should get rid of Lightning Strike. That move is pretty weak. Probably gonna go for a wire type attack. Crackle Slam. I thought he was going to go for a water type attack. Why would you go for that? You don't look bulky. Yeah. I can't tell what move you're gonna go for. Please be steel. Mellow Burst, perfect. Yeet, that was a fight. I'm actually going to use this rare candy. Okay, and uh, where's the lucky egg? Oh, I guess I didn't have it. I flipped it. Okay, so who's next? Spirits? I think Spirits is the ultimate nightmare to any ghost type. 
So I'll use you against that. That's a swamp, that's ice, that's rock, that's water, that's grass. Uh, you're ground. And that's it. Wait, did I already see water? If that's water, then where are you? Poison? Poison, no doubt about it. But even if it's poison, I could take that on, right? Sort of. If it's poison, I can handle it. She is 100% going to be poison, no doubt. Yep. She's also part dark. That's not going to kill me. It killed me somehow. Even though my attack status piss. Actually, no, that's a physical attack in base 95, so. Yeah. But you're not a water type. Not an ice seal, not bad. Where's my max revives? There we go. You, my saw, shall freeze. Bug bugs. Alright, so you can fight a bunch of Pokemon here, that's cool. Oh wait, I should be giving the experience shift to you. Damn it. I'm now just thinking about that. Alright, kill me. This blows. Some of the doesn't even have a ghost type. Yeah, I forgot to put the experience share on you. All my Pokemon are weak. Kend, they're weak. Kend, they're not weak. Don't get it twisted, people. The truth is, there is no Pokemon Center here. It baffles me. How do I heal? There's not even a Pokemon Center in this building. Got the fly out of here, Jesus. Man, I lost a lot of money off of the... Uh Off of those ability capsules. I think next hidden ability I want is going to be uh next hidden ability I want. Let's see here. Oops. Uh, 
Yeah, that's cool. Okay, where are you? There you are. Your hidden ability is force. For. Forewarn? Forewarn? What is that? Is the ability not even. It's not even showing me what the ability is. Huh. Weird. I guess it's because nobody has it. I also need an amulet coin. We got an experience share. Got the iron lucky egg on you. Let us fight. Who? Water, rock, ice, ground, and poison. You know, this swamp thing is not even a. It's not even a. That's a swamp thing. The dark and water, it's dark and grass type. That's not even a, um, a poison type. I'm not sure who to take on. I think the best candidate would be the ice. Should I honestly grind for money? I honestly don't need money. Ice types tend to be frail, so. Oh, but you have a brush. A mess tablet. Actually, do I even get money for this? Burn, bitch, burn. Yo, know, I still haven't gotten leftovers. You're going for Jarball even though you're burned. That's funny. Say. Well, tackle. And you're gonna kill me, yay. Oh, Rashad definitely needs, needs to go back to the gym. We go for avalanche. Play rough. You're not a fairy. That was a crit. That was too shot. Isn't it? Ah, now you're go avalanche. Too bad I didn't do none. Means you burn. It's aqua tail. Good to know. Means I can just burn it. Well, I can't fight you again. A rock type. Sure needs to get to level 55 to even stand a chance against this Pokemon League. I'm not sure how to train him. I'll have to keep grinding this out repeatedly over and over and over again.
Uh, work on me, Bala. Thank you, bitch. Go ahead and die for me again. Any day of the week. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. Death and Gleam! Has nothing but physical moves. Poor bastard. Sure, you used to really grind up. I need to find a Pokemon Center. Let's do this the last night. Let's just check inside this building before we end the episode. My Lunape and I have been through so many challenges and have endured so much together. There's no way we are going to lose now. There is so much history in these books from when the League was built, the founding of the Elite, first Elite Four members, and even who the most recent champions of the Rico region were. I'm here to watch my husband compete, and our son is just as every bit of rambunctious as he is. Yeah, I really wish I could enter. Mom says I got a couple more years before I can become a trainer. You're looking at the next champ right here. Isn't the right isn't that right glowing? Here's that glowing. Mm. I hope your Pokemon know different kinds of moves because you'll need them. I especially raise my smock, my smakwa, <laughs> to know something, uh, to know certain moves to help it battle against the otherwise poor mashups. Smakwa, smakwa. <laughs> I love it. It's so wonderful seeing so many kinds of people in Pokemon from every corner of the code gather here in one this in this one big event. Looks like my girlfriend and I are here just in time. We got a little carried away because we wanted to explore the Victory Isles Caves some more. My wife and I come from all, all the way from Crest Lake City. I know these two. To see all the rare Pokemon. I seem to have I seem to have inherited my parents' fascina fascination and adorable and rare Pokemon back at Crest Lake. Fascination for adorable rare Pokemon. Okay, it looks like it rubbed it off on my husband too. So there's that. Oh, there's Rodney and these two. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. If you're still looking for tough Pokemon to compete, uh, to complete your team, try the caves at Victor Isles. There's, that's where I caught my Glossal. I was barely able to beat Wade to earn my spot at the competition. It's a little unnerving thinking how strong some of the other trainers here, trainers in here, are if they made it too. <laughs> yeah, if they can beat him and you can barely beat, if you can barely beat him and you can come in here, with, even though all these people beat him, you're going to be in a tough position, my cookie. Ah, cool. I'm already registered for the Pokemon League. I'm just waiting here for Kara. You can enter if you want. I have entered. So I guess that's going to be an episode, guys. I'm going to train up my, some more for this uh, Pokemon to evolve and get to level 60, I think. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.